Hey guys, what's up? Aragorn here. You asked, I answered. You guys, on Tuesday we released our first episode and you guys absolutely loved it. 100%. But anyway, we're back for more because you guys asked me questions and I, I've got this urge I need to answer. So anyway, let's see what you guys are saying. Hello, last, thumbs up. I like ducks. <laughs> Looks like me and Aragorn read most of the comments and I don't want to read the rest. O35, my channel, yay! <gasps> Again! This was quite entertaining and funny. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed. This was quite entertaining, thank you, haha. <laughs> Great video, Aragorn, keep up the brilliant work. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Sorry, but I learned absolutely f*** all from this video. Hey, the same here. I have started up a music group with friends. How can we tell people that we exist? Well, uh, I actually have a few uh, ideas for this. Now, this goes outside of YouTube. You can play live, and I honestly think that that is probably the best thing that you can do. You have the usual, you can license your music to people, you can uh, promote it free, you know, do kind of royalty-free tracks. A lot of people do get attracted to that, and that way you will get more uh, playtime outside of your own channel, because other people will be using your music. However, I do think it's important to get live experience, whether it's just to help you as a musician, or whether it's to build actual connections in the real world. And it's not to say that online isn't the real world, because it certainly is, but there's a certain different type of connection when you give someone a physical handshake, and you're able to talk to them directly, hey, uh, you have a small club or a small cafe, do you think it's possible that we come play here sometime? A lot of my friends, uh, or I actually have a lot of friends, who uh, are into music and are doing similar things. I really think that's important, and um, it's not to say that you can't have uh, YouTube as part of it, but focus on the outside world too. Why am I so Canadian? I don't know! What do you do to get your hair to look so fantastic? Actually, it's uh, it's all special effects. To be honest, I'm actually bald. That was freaking awesome! Great job, you got a rare laugh out of me. Well, you get rare laughs out of me too. Guys, everyone should go check out Epos Vox and also the Geek channel. He runs both of them. He's fucking awesome. Hey, Oeri! Here from the stream! <gasps> God, I'm terrible. But like every episode, and by every I mean two, because... <laughs> I've only been to. We have to go on Twitter to see what you guys are saying right there. Aragorn, would you ever consider going to an anime con and cosplay? Well, actually, that's something I really want to do at some point in my life. I'm even thinking maybe this year we could have some sort of meetup. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Aragorn, can you give me a shout out? No. What's 9 plus 10? Dude, why would you even ask such a simple obvious, so blatantly easy question. Hippopotamus? Did you style yourself after the llama, or did the llama style itself after you? In case you guys don't know what she's referring to, it's right here. You can check it out, it's on my channel. It's about a minute long, and it's the best video I've ever created. Um, no, no, it was kind of like a mutual thing. I called him up, he's like, Hey, you want to do something with our hair? And I was like, yeah, totally, man. And, um, yeah, the rest is internet history. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have a question, leave it down below or on Twitter with the hashtag, yeah, yeah. And, um, potatoes. <laughs>